Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about getting everything done when you come back home from a long holiday. We were away for almost two weeks. Lakshman went away to Aberdeen while Levi and I were in Glasgow. While we were freezing ourselves up north in Scotland, Bristol was extra warm, so the minute we stepped in, the house was very stuffy. I made sure to open all of the curtains and the windows and to let some air in so that there is circulation in the house. And then I started vacuuming the house. Now, I am dead tired after this trip. We left at 3 in the morning from Glasgow and we only reached home at about half 11 in the morning. We had a sick baby who picked up a bug from Glasgow who was throwing up after every food that we had. And we had to stop some three or four times on our way. So it took us extra long to get back and none of us got any sleep at all. Uh, Lakshman was obviously driving and I was sitting at the back with Levi and I didn't sleep a wink at all and we didn't get enough sleep even during our holidays. So I wasn't going to do any intense cleaning or anything. I just wanted it to be clean for us, you know, to move around and to get our things done and not extra dusty or anything. Because as you can see, Levi is becoming very independent now. He can, um, you know, kind of move about and get whatever he wants to do and lick things and put everything in his mouth. So I wanted to make sure it wasn't dusty for him. While I was vacuuming, this little one threw the balls all over the place and got stuck under the chair, as you can see from this clip here. And he got upset because he knocked his head. It wasn't too bad at all. But because he grew taller in that two weeks, he didn't estimate himself to get stuck under the chair. Neither did I, actually. While I was vacuuming, you would have noticed that Lakshman um, brought in this yellow bag upstairs this is the bag full of food every time we go to glasgow we come back with a bag full of food from both our houses both our families in glasgow they always freeze everything and send it back to us so when we come back for the week we always have something or at least for the first couple of days so we don't need to do grocery as soon as we are back i was unloading everything because our trip was unexpectedly longer and uh, i just wanted to make sure none of the food was spoiled i took everything out and then I put everything back in the fridge rather than freezing because we were going to have that for lunch also. I wanted to take some out for lunch and then put the rest back in the freezer. Maybe we should hurry up and see all the deal. In the meantime, Lakshman had started changing the bed sheets in our bedroom. While he was doing our bed, the bigger one, which takes me absolute ages to do, so I always push it to him. I then changed uh, Levi's bed sheet on his cot as well. And Levi is sitting there playing outside uh, so that he can be near us and he's not out in the living room on his own. I also dusted off some of the furniture in the bedroom. I would normally do this every week and I don't understand why but my house gets so dusty every single week. By the time I do it every week it becomes so dusty as if we're not living in the house at all. So you, you can imagine how it would be after two weeks. I had to make sure I dusted everything off so that it doesn't bother Levi. By the time I finished all that, it was slightly past 12 o'clock. 
I wanted to oil Levi a little bit because I noticed that his skin was drying up. And, you know, after the journey, he was a little bit uncomfortable and everything. So I wanted to give him a little bit of a massage and oil him. This is usually a bit of a battle. Sometimes he sits quietly. Sometimes he just wants to move. He doesn't want to be sat down in a place. So there's always some sort of a battle fighting with him or giving him the remote so that he would sit with me quietly and allow me to massage him and put some oil on him. I usually need to be really, really quick with this. Otherwise, I would be losing an uphill battle. So I would normally hurry up and do this. And by the end of it, he normally somehow tries to escape from me. And he managed to get hold of my phone. And there goes the phone. We then had lunch together. My lunch was obviously the food that we brought back from Glasgow. Levi's lunch was already in the freezer. This is why I always, always have food ready for Levi. I cannot come and cook something after a long journey or after a long holiday. And since I already had a lot of stuff for him in the freezer, I picked some out. Because he was sick, I wanted to give him something really light. And beetroot pancake is one of his favorites. And it's somewhat actually really light. It's not overly heavy or anything at all. So he had that beetroot pancake. After lunch, I then started unpacking things. Um, the first bag that I was unpacking was Levi's bag. I wanted to get all of his things sorted out first. Because we were in my mother's house for such a long time, I managed to do one load of laundry in her place, which means I managed to wash a lot of Levi's clothes and only a couple of them needed washing uh, that I used in the last couple of days before we left. So that would save me a lot more time here because in Bristol, when I'm doing laundry, I need to wait for one load of washing to dry and then put on the washing machine again. Uh, this time, we wouldn't have to do that. So I was just sorting out some of his clothes that needed washing. And then I realized that I left um, a couple of clothes in my mother's house along with Levi's laundry bags also. Usually when I'm traveling, I take his laundry bag so it's easier to put all of his clothes in there and then I bring it back. But yeah, I just completely forgot. I knew I forgot something when I was leaving the house. And I only realized that once I reached Bristol. But it's not too bad. My mom will be coming back. When she does come back in a few months, then she'll bring it for us. I then put away all of Levi's clean clothes in his drawers and wardrobe. Once all the clean clothes were put away, I then started sieving through all of his uh, dirty clothes that needed washing, the ones from during the holiday and the ones from before the holiday as well. And yes, this is a daily occurrence in our house. While I'm putting things away, these two will be walking about and sometimes helping me with laundry, sometimes um, the exact opposite of it. Um, I normally have this habit of putting all of these clothes in a laundry bag so I separated according to size, small, big, and um, biggest ones, like, you know, towels and stuff in separate laundry bags. And then I put it in the washing machine. I don't know why. It could be the OCD me. But I feel like it's so much more easier to put it in the washing like that. And it's so much more easier to dry and pull clothes after also when I categorize it accordingly. If I'm gonna love somebody, I just want to love. Once I put on one load of washing in the washing machine, I then took Levi to the bedroom because I wanted to put away my clothes, the ones that were clean that I had already washed back in Glasgow. Um, please excuse the state of me. I hadn't slept in God knows how long. I haven't had enough sleep at all, no rest whatsoever. And I've had to deal with a sick baby all the way through our journey in the car. So I, when I got back home, I had no clue what I was putting on. I just needed to get into some sort of clean clothes. And apologies for the angle as well. This is not my best angle. This is not my best appearance. But 
I can't help it. I'm just BL, okay? I know it's a video and you know that it was all filmed and I know it's being filmed and everything as well, but this is the real me at home. It was around about 1.15 by the time I finished putting away all of my clothes and then I put Levi down to sleep at 1.15 in the afternoon. He needed to have his nap. Lakshman and I went to bed at half one, a couple of minutes after Levi. I set my alarm at three in the afternoon, but I never managed to wake up at all. My alarm kept ringing and ringing and ringing, and I kept snoozing it. None of us could move, and Levi slept through all of that noise too. By the time we woke up, I think it was already four o'clock, and I put away a few other stuff, and I must admit I forgot to pick up my camera uh, to film what I was doing. And then by about 5.15, I put Levi down to have dinner. He normally has his dinner around about that time and then he plays a little bit and then has his milk and goes to sleep. Um, he had his dinner and after his dinner, I dried um, the clothes because I went to sleep right after putting the washing and I completely forgot to dry it before I went to sleep. When I dry clothes, I would normally switch on the dehumidifier so that it dries slightly quicker than without it. And then I went to put away a few of Levi's toiletries. I carried some of his medicines and toiletries and everything. I normally travel really, really light. I don't take extra stuff at all. But with Levi now, I find myself packing so many extras. What if he's sick? What if I need this? What if I need that? And I end up bringing so many things back that I don't use at all, like his thermometer and um, a lot of other medicines that I took by him. I didn't even use it at all. So I put everything away and then I was going to continue unpacking and doing a few stuff. But Levi threw up. He threw up his entire dinner. He was fine after lunch, but dinner was quite bad, actually. And he was a little bit upset because of that. And he's just unwell generally because he's picked up this bug. So it took us ages to clean him up and clean up uh, the office room because Lakshman was carrying and walking him. Uh, while he was in the office room so we had to clean everything the carpet in there and all and then we went out for a walk all of us really needed some fresh air when we got back home I gave Levi his milk in his cup this is a 360 cup and it doesn't spill at all with the way Levi drinks his milk or his water whatever it is it will definitely spill so I like this one because it doesn't spill and he's just learned how to do chairs now and this is the first time he's doing it so after his milk, we gave him a bath and put him down to sleep. And after that, I unpacked the toys that I took away with us for our holidays. This is not crucial for me to clear and put away immediately. I was just emptying the bag because I wanted to put the bag away. I emptied all of the things with his existing toys. I always put all of my packing cubes and other toiletries bag and smaller bags that I use for traveling together in the suitcase. So it's easier for me every time I want to go somewhere. I would always take out the suitcase and I know all of the bags are in there and I can find everything in one place. So my travel suitcases are now ready to go back up to the loft. That's when I put it upstairs once it's all done. And that's how I get everything done when I come back. This is why we always leave early in the morning and then we get back home somewhat midday so we have time to settle in and Levi is able to settle in also. It's easier for him to travel when we do it during his sleeping time in the morning and so he doesn't get too tired or too cranky during travels. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. See you in the next one. Bye! Oh, I just wanna love you now.